Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, so in our last video we we actually got started playing the game. Uh, we we uh, started working on digging down. We found a layer that we liked because it wasn't going to have any kind of soil or sand on it. Um, now I don't want you guys to think that I'm really really upset by having so much soil and sand and clay. In actuality that's a really good thing because it means that we're actually going to have uh, be able to set up a glass making uh, industry. Also, we could make pottery. So that's really good. Um, but you know, I at the at the start of the game, it's not something that you mess with. So uh, don't get me wrong. Don't take me the wrong way. Uh, I really do like that we have such a wide array of options already. Um, but uh, you know, it's kind of on the back burner at this point. Uh, so, what we're working on right now is uh, we made some pastures. I showed you guys how to make a uh, refuse stockpile for trash. Um, we've got some wood chopped. That's awesome. So, uh, I think what I'll show you now is uh, it can be really, really tiring to constantly be having to shift uh, period down layers. So, what can be a lot easier is if you set a hotkey. That way you can jump back and forth with the F buttons. So what you do is you go to the layer that you want to be able to jump to. And then you're going to want to hit um, Shift H for hotkeys. And then you want to hit down arrow. Whoop, oh, nope, nope, nope. I'm sorry, take that back. Uh, you're going to want to hit the hotkey that you want it to be assigned to. So F1 is automatically assigned to what's considered your gate. I think that's fine. Uh, since this is going to be our, well actually this is going to be our third layer because we are going to have a farming layer, but the farming layer is going to be pretty close to the surface. I don't know. Let's go ahead and set this to F3. Uh, our farming layer will be F2 eventually. So you hit F3 and as you can see now it's it's highlighted hotkey 3. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to hit Z, lowercase z and it's going to zoom here. Now what you can do is you can leave it named hotkey 3 if you'd like or you can also hit lowercase n to change the name so we can change this to workshops. And now it's done. So if, if say now if we wanted to look back at the gate all we have to do is hit F1, F3, F1, F3. Uh, very very convenient when your fortress grows to be multiple Z levels of action. Uh, and you don't always want to have to hold down shift and hit these, uh, hit these, uh, hit the comma and period key to go up and down respectively. So uh, let's go ahead and resume. We're going to let this layer here finish up uh, being built, uh, being dug out, I guess you'd say. And as you can see, uh, you know they're digging through and they're finding some things. Uh, it's also generating some chert. So it looks like this is a chert layer. Um, oh no! Oh no! That's what I didn't want to see. So as it turns out, uh, there still is soil on this level. Sad trombone. Uh, that's fine. We'll deal with it. Uh, at least it's ma mainly in our stockpile at this point. But uh, anyways, as they dig, there's like a percent chance based on their mining to generate uh, some stone. And uh, these may look like a nuisance right now, but they're actually pretty good because we're going to use these uh, to prop up our economy at first by making uh, stone goods. And we can also turn this into uh, other things that our mason can make. Uh, also, you see we've got some gems already. We've got some pink jade here. Um, more pink jade it looks like. What's this? Petrified wood. Interesting. Okay. So it looks like uh, this is completely done now. Oh, we also found some citrines. Great. So I'm going to say what we're going to do now is we're going to build a workshop. So what you want to do is you want to hit lowercase b. B. And it's going to bring up a, a whole mess of things over here in the options screen. Now to build a workshop, uh, the hotkey for workshops is lowercase w, like so. And now we have all of the workshops that we can build. Now some of them uh, you will use often, some of them you might even build multiple of, some of them you may not ever use, and that's okay. You don't have to have everything. Um, you know, as a new player, I would recommend uh, not having everything because you're just going to wear yourself out trying to figure out the interplay between all of these things. 
when you first start though probably uh, the most important workshops to get set up immediately uh, will be you're gonna want a carpenter because dwarves need beds uh, they'll get a really uh, really strong negative emotion if they don't have a bed so uh, as you can see the green X's show where that workshop will be placed um, you know if you go here you can't place it because there's walls in the way or there are walls in the way so uh, we're gonna put it here that way it has a pretty clear access to this storage place uh, this although it is very very close to the stairwell uh, will be a workshop that will probably put in um, that won't be hauling as many things to here uh, perhaps like a uh, gym cutter or something like that something that where the finished product will go in bins beds can't go in bins they'll need to be hauled directly to the stockpile so uh, we're gonna we're gonna center it in the middle and we're gonna hit enter and then it's gonna ask us what do we want to build the workshop with now uh, I recommend always trying to build your workshops with stone um, wood is a, a renewable resource in the game but um, it's I mean you've just got stone everywhere so why not use it and especially when it's just like laying right there at your feet so uh, we're gonna designate this uh, to be made out of chert so we're gonna hit enter and what's gonna happen now is uh, somebody's gonna gonna go on over there and they're going to uh, to take a look at it and um, then uh, a carpenter somebody with carpentry enabled is going to come down and they'll finish the workshop and then we're gonna I'll show you how to get some beds set up to be produced uh, so uh, another workshop we're definitely going to be needing is uh, we're gonna need a masons workshop probably I'd say carpenter and mason are one and one a uh, so we'll put it right here same thing again what they say you know hey what do you want to make it out of well we're gonna make it out of chert and then uh, the one that I really like to get up and running pretty quick is a craft dwarfs workshop so that we can make sure we have something to sell to the caravan that'll come in the fall same thing again now what we're gonna wanna do now we're gonna wanna pause and we're gonna wanna make some stockpiles that way uh, for like for the carpenter you know whenever you make your bed you can make it out of a lot of different stuff um, but uh, you know it's gonna make it out of wood so if we don't have the wood available down here in a stockpile what's gonna happen is every time he wants to make a, a bed he's going to go all the way up to the surface grab wood from the surface come back down then he's gonna have to haul the bed to the stockpile rinse repeat so it makes a whole lot more sense to actually have a stockpile here where he can have ready access to the materials so we're gonna to designate a stockpile you're gonna hit P okay and it brings up the menu then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit W for wood. And we're going to put it around the outside. So we're going to hit enter and we're going to drag it down here. Now it will not uh, set a stockpile in where the workshop's going to be. So it'll only be around the outside part of the room. Okay. Now uh, this is a pretty good amount of wood but he's going to fly through that pretty quick. So what we're probably going to want to do is we're going to want to have a little bit of extra firepower when it comes to the wood. So we're going to make an additional wood stockpile going to here. And that will probably work at first. Uh, eventually, when we have more, more wood crafting going on, we might want more, uh, especially if you have a wood furnace going. But for now, this is probably fine. Uh, now, we're going to want to put some stockpiles for our mason and also for our uh, stone crafter here as well so for our mason he's going to need stone so uh, we don't want corpses we want S for stone and you just do the same thing and then for the uh, craft dwarf we're just gonna do another stone stockpile um, then um, our carpenter is going to make beds and uh, other things too so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set up a stockpile to where those goods can go to. Uh, so we're going to set up a furniture, so U, furniture storage stockpile. Now this one needs to be pretty big uh, because furniture can't be stored inside of bins uh, because it's large. So each article of furniture is going to take up uh, one space. So as you can imagine, it can fill up pretty quickly. So we're going to go there. 
for furniture storage and then we're going to need uh, a finished good stockpile down here and I'll show you why okay so now we back out now if you want to adjust what can go into any of these stockpiles you just click on it and it's gonna bring up it says furniture stockpile number six now that doesn't mean that this is the sixth furniture stockpile that we have what this means is that it's actually the sixth stockpile that I created and it just happens to have furniture in it uh, so we're gonna hit S for settings and then uh, we're going to arrow key down and furniture and siege ammo is what can go in here and you can specify a lot of different things here uh, to make sure that only the right type of stuff goes in there so that was a stockpile that we had put mainly for use by the carpenter so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense uh, for us to have uh, floodgates, hatch covers, grates our doors are going to be rocks so no uh, catapult parts, ballista parts, mechanisms, no. Beds, yes. Traction benches, no. Windows, no. Thrones, no. Tables, no. Coffins, no. Statues, no. 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 Only things made out of wood are going to go in here. Or that we intend on making out of wood. Uh, we probably will make, eh, I don't know actually, we might not make some wood. We might make rock cabinets. Uh, buckets made out of wood. Bins are made out of wood. That's good. Barrels are also made out of wood, so that's fine. Uh, wheelbarrows, yes. Uh, we'll make uh, large pots, food storage will be rock. So so basically what we did there is we made sure that, that uh, we're going to have greater visibility in that stockpile. It's not going to be a big mess, which is something I'm a pretty big fan of. And then we're going to want to do the same thing over here for our finished goods. Um, we're going to want to go down here to finish goods and ideally this is going to be a place where our um, crafted goods end up. Uh, so I'm a pretty big fan, just like uh, Quill, of making goblets. So what we're going to do is we're going to come through here and we're going to disable everything that's not a goblet. So and you do that just by hitting enter. So I'm hitting enter right now. Okay, and but also we want to make sure that uh, we are able to put some rock furniture in here. So we're going to hit E to enable that. Now if you make a mistake and you hit like corpses, oh no, I don't want corpses in there. You just hit D to disable it. And then we're going to right arrow over and we want uh, only those rock items that we're going to be making. So uh, like doors and thrones and tables. So uh, not floodgates or any of that, no. Mechanisms, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and let mechanisms go in there. Uh, traction benches, okay, that's fine. Although we won't be making any of those for a while. Uh, coffins is okay, statues is also okay. Uh, we won't be making, any, uh, slabs is okay, but we won't be making any for a while, nor that. Um, so as you can see, this stockpile might get pretty, uh, pretty full pretty quick. So there's going to be a lot in it. Um, and that should do it and uh, okay so that's good it's good it's good okay so now we're gonna uh, we're gonna start it up again and we're gonna wait until they get it built and as you can see people are already moving some rocks around this guy's uh, looks like he's making that workshop right now Okay, so that's our Mason's workshop. And uh, what we want to do is uh, we definitely want to get our, uh, we, as soon as possible, we want to get our bookkeeper and our manager up and running. And if you remember, what you have to do for that is you have to have a table and you have to have a chair. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some new tasks. So A, and then um, we're going to construct a rock throne, that's what they call chairs. Uh, alternatively, you can just hit the hotkey lowercase c. And then we're going to add another task to make a table, which is uh, you can either uh, you can either plus or minus down to it, or hotkey lowercase t. And then we're going to need some doors. Um, technically, you don't have to put doors on the bedrooms. I like to. It's just a thing. Now, if you do it this way, you can only put uh, a certain number of items in there. So I'm just going to do it until it's full. 
So now it's it's uh, the queue is full. Now, um, hmm, I see we have a lot of idlers. Hmm, might be that our mining is finished. Uh, let let's look at uh, dwarf therapist just real quick. Just real quick. Let's read our dwarves um, and see, because uh, auto labor may have fouled some things up here uh, that we don't want. Hmm. Okay, so we've got some miners here. Um, this guy it says he's going to construct a building. Okay. And uh, okay, so he's going to make some buildings for us. Our mason will soon be working. We're going to designate some more mining to happen. So. Um, probably a good idea to have this guy be available to haul at this point I would say so we're gonna commit those changes all right now we're gonna switch back over uh, you know you just want to keep them as busy as you can um, there's usually always something that can be done early game uh, so we're gonna exit uh, we're gonna exit back out and then uh, we're gonna wait so he's putting together the stone crafters workshop right now okay and then what you need to do with the craft dwarf uh, sorry not stone crafter but crafts dwarfs uh, you're just gonna hit A and then we're gonna go into rock and down to rock mug and then to make it a repeat job you just hit lowercase r and now it's gonna repeat but we have to make sure that somebody is set up to do this job so I guess we're gonna switch back to dwarf therapist yay okay so uh, Crafting rock mugs goes under stone crafting. The only person that has this enabled currently is Sigin Kulakur, who is also our carpenter. So this not that's no bueno. It's not going to do um, because we don't want him to be torn back and forth. So we're going to disable it on him to make sure he doesn't try to take over that job. Now who could we put this on? Um, well, this guy is going to be very hooked up. You can see he's already working on the stuff. Very good. Um, we could do this guy here, right? Yeah, we could, um, but we've got to be thinking about the future here, and uh, he is going to be doing a lot of cooking eventually. Um, right now, he's mainly hauling. Hmm. We could uh, use a miner for it. Uh, alternatively, we could just look and see who has the most tendency towards it just by hovering over their skill. So we can see that uh, this person has about a 51% aptitude, 59%. So this person would do the best at it. Irish uh, Do de Curlin. Um, I suppose that would work. Um, I mean, we do want it. We are going to be doing a lot of mining, but three miners is probably fine. So we'll enable that and uh, disable the mining on that person, and that's okay. That's completely fine. It's not a. Uh, it's not a sprint. It's. Uh, it's definitely a marathon. But I do like to get uh, get to cracking on those mugs pretty quickly because uh, it's good to have something to sell 